welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you the use of if l if else ladder statement so what is if l if else ladder statement now this statement is another type of if statement it helps us to test multiple conditions and follows a top down approach so in this as soon as the condition of the if evaluates to be true the indented block associated with that if is executed and the rest of the ladder is avoided so firstly i'll explain this with the help of the example practical example and for that i'll be taking a new file so that i can start with a new program print to find that entered number is single digit or more now in this program i want to find that whether the number which is entered by the user is of single digit or two digit three digit four digit in that way so firstly for that i am taking one num variable and here i am taking as integer because i want to store the value given by the user in integer data type input enter the number now if statement starts if now i'm asking if num that means that variable whatever the number is been added if num greater than or is equal to 1 i'm using this statement for checking whether the entered digit is single digit and single digit if it is single digit it should be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 9 so in this condition as i am using if if num is greater than is equal to 1 and if it is less than is equal to 9 that means that particular digit should be a single digit and that only i want to check yes this and i am using first time we can use and also along with if statement if we have to check two conditions at the same time suppose and now here i want to check num less than is equal to 9 double quotes and then if it is true then i should print num inverted commas is one digit number now with this statement if we have not entered single digit if we have entered two digit then what we should do again another condition i'll check but here i will not use if here i'll use elif as explained in the starting when multiple condition is to be checked i can use if and elif among these multiple condition only one condition will be true so again i'll start if num greater than is equal to 10 and this condition i am checking for double digit and num less than is equal to 99 so overall condition is num greater than is equal to 10 and num less than is equal to 99 if it is true double colon then what it should print it should print num is two digit number let's check this firstly whether my program is working properly or not so i'll click on save because first time save and save as means the same save as only 
then uh, i'll go to desktop students and here i'll give the name as use of elif statement click on save i'll press f5 so i'll press f5 key enter the number so i'm entering suppose single digit number let's see now the result is coming okay according to my assumptions 5 is a one digit number now again if i'll run the program f5 and by pressing f5 key uh enter the number suppose i am entering not two digit number suppose 46 so 46 is two digit number that means my that condition is also working properly now again i am back in my main program and just to save the time what i'll do here this statement i'll copy and i'll paste it again and again now in this if num is greater than is equal to i'll just write here 100 and less than triple line so that will also work but only this will be i'll i'll do the changes here three digit number now again i'll this copy just to save the time and with the backspace key i'll move toward the starting point and again i'll paste now again here i'll just type 1000 four digit number and here i'll write 4 so copy paste makes my work little faster here so here five digit number and then i'll click on file and save now i'll run the program enter the number suppose i am entering 1 2 3 4 5 c this is five digit number that means my program is working properly and i think you have very clearly understood the use of the program and the use of if and elif statement so with this i'll be closing my this tutorial and if you like my tutorial then please do like share and comment and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay bye bye take care meet you soon in my new tutorial